In the beginning of a painting, there is the idea of a theme, but also an aspect of chance, a stain or pouring of paint that develops its own dynamic. These are the main sources of inspiration and also the joy of painting. In the course of years, I have tried out many media and approaches, one of which is to shape the canvas. There is an interesting relationship between the outer form of the painting and its motif. In my opinion, painting always deals with space, creating a spatial illusion on a two-dimensional canvas. By shaping its outer form, the painting becomes a painted sculpture. Beeswax, as a painting medium, has led me to an artistic collaboration with beehives. And the fact that bees are mainly working three-dimensionally, I also developed sculptural work in addition to my painting. One ongoing sculptural project, which I named Talking Heads, consists of more than 100 small-scale portraits. First, they are sculpted in clay, and then, when the clay is still fresh, a silicone and plaster mold is built. From these molds or negative forms, I cast plaster copies as well as wax casts. The wax casts are then inserted into beehives, where the work is actually completed by the bees. Collaborating with bees has changed my artistic approach considerably. It led to a dialogue of my own artistic intentions with natural processes, which are not always controllable. Part of my exhibitions feature observation hives, which allow visitors to watch the bees reconstruct and alter the objects within. Another project was based on the idea of enlightening four world leaders. My bees produced the wax for four candles of presidents, which were lit during an online video project on the four Advent Sundays, in order to bring light and joy into the darkest weeks of the year. In the following spring, the president's faces were cast as wax objects and inserted into beehives.